I needed a change. I have been stuck in my little hometown. Honestly, I've been traveling off and on for the past couple years, but I needed to go on my own solo travel adventure. I owed it to myself to do this for myself so that I didn't wake up when I'm 80 and realize I never had this adventure or this experience for myself. I needed to go on my own adventure by myself in a different country and travel. And that's what I did. And it changed my life. I met so many beautiful, interesting people. I got used to a completely different country, but on my own accord. traveling before like I always had friends in my countries like England and so forth but this was the first time I showed up in a different country <laughs> by myself but with nowhere to go except my own place my own Airbnb that I chose this beautiful adorable thing with no one meeting me at the airport no one meeting me at the Airbnb it's just me myself and I and I can fully say comfortably as I said before and the whole premise of this video it has changed my life and this is your side to even consider doing something as such as this, especially as a young person, but even if you're 40, 50, 60, it's never too late to go do this. Okay, because this is where a lot of the noise and a lot of the anxiousness stems from. And wherever I'm in the room, i This one's important. I have proven to myself over and over again, and this is just another experience to showcase that, that I can make anything happen for myself. Anything. It's all about choice. You decide to do this for yourself. Are you gonna go on that trip or not? That's your decision. Are you gonna make this happen for yourself or not? And by doing this experience, it's again proven to myself that I can do it, and I will do it. It's not just a possibility, it's the fact that I will. It's proving to myself that I will always have my back. And it strengthens a bond with yourself, knowing that you've got this, knowing that you will be there for yourself. A lot of what people talk about with solo travel is kind of nurturing this relationship with yourself. And they're right. This one's very important that I don't think a lot of people know. It challenges you to live uncomfortably to not be too comfortable in your situation. So many people are without even realizing that. And when you, again, push yourself to do this, you learn to be comfortable with the uncomfortable and that makes you invincible with anything else you wanna do in life. Again, it proves, further proves that you've got this, you can do this, the universe has your back and that you will be okay. Solo travel keeps reigniting that belief in me and it keeps you sharp it keeps you learning it doesn't keep you stagnant when you put yourself in these situations instead of waiting for these situations to come to you this one is such a big deal oh my god the most amount of growth that i've experienced in life and i know a lot of other people have experienced in life is when you are by yourself and you gotta work on yourself when everything else is silent so you sit with yourself you work with yourself you get to know yourself even more deeper and what thoughts are in your brain when you're silent with yourself you can plan accordingly you can heal yourself and even if you don't want to go on a massive adventure going and changing your location and maybe just staying in an airbnb again this doesn't have to be a different country this could be just a different state a different city whatever you want it to be but choosing to spend time with yourself to get to know yourself and be silent with yourself what comes up for you what are your normal day-to-day -day thoughts what are your thought patterns what is something that you want to fix and when you have this silent period of no distractions of being with yourself experiencing it sets you up so much more it propels you into the future it propels you. it's like okay poof Let's go. I know the answer immediately. I'm gonna go do it. Thank you for this silent time to myself, to me and the universe. Solo travel honestly strengthened my faith in humanity. When you're traveling and you don't know anything and sometimes you don't even know the language, that shit can get scary. And obviously sometimes there's gonna be annoying people in life, 
But the thing is, is I feel like we only focus on the annoying people. We only focus on the bad encounters that we've had. Oh, this guy, my neighbor, honestly, story time, my neighbor from across the street. It was New Year's Eve, sorry. And it was like 1230 maybe 12 15 like the clock just struck and it's new year's eve everybody's out and he comes out and he's yelling he's like what are you doing dancing because other neighbors had music on and we got in trouble for dancing but i can focus on that and be like damn french people they are mean they're terrible but i can also think about my wonderful uber driver or my airbnb host or just the random people that i either encounter or come across in my day-to-day -day life that proved to me that humanity exists in a genuine way and people want to help people generally when they are given the opportunity. Especially if you're not from this place and you go to someone you're like, can you please help me? Sure, someone can give you, but another person will give you their hand and it's important to focus on that and it's important to Remind yourself that you are taken care of and that good people are out there. And so that's what solo travel and this experience has given me. It's given me more faith in humanity and the willingness for other people to help other people. Let them prove to you that good people exist and that they want to help you and that you're not alone even if you're on a solo adventure. I am leaving Paris soon, next week as I record this, and I am so grateful that I've had this experience for myself. I'm so excited to dive deeper into my specific learnings and teachings from this time in my life. So I have a love letter to Paris if you want to check that out. But my main takeaway is the fact that I am so much more confident in myself after doing this. Somehow, because I wasn't pretty confident beforehand. Um, and that might happen for you too if you decide to push yourself. Also, if you want to see all my other Paris adventures, I made so many beautiful videos so you can see everything that I'm talking about and get a kick out of them. Okay, I will see you in my next video if you choose to support me by subscribing. Goodbye.